The Delta state government has extended by two days the current total lockdown in the state, saying it will now end on Thursday. Governor Ifani Okoa, in a broadcast on Tuesday in Asaba, also announced that the ban on movement within the state will be partially lifted on the same day. He, however, said conferences, sporting activities, gathering of people at conventions, event centers, public and open spaces, as well as recreational, cultural and communal activities remain banned until May 31. The Delta State Commissioner for Information, Charles Aniago, joins us now via Skype to explain what's going on uh, in Delta State. Thank you very much, Commissioner, for your time. Good morning, Felicity, and thanks, viewer. Good morning. What informed this decision by the Executive Governor? Well, we have examined uh, the decisions we took earlier with respect to shutting down the state for 28 days, and we realized that uh, we made a lot of progress, uh, which is why our number still remains low. As of this morning, we have uh, seven. Uh, two of them are passed on, and then two have been discharged. So at the moment, we have three active cases in Delta. And so having examined it and the need to also uh, keep our people going and not to terribly uh, hurt our economy because we do believe that this government will not have the capacity to continue to feed the people uh, every other day and that they need to also work and a living uh, uh, support their families even as they continue to observe all um, outline protocol particularly respect to uh, social distancing and so in opening the state it would differ from tomorrow We've been able to ensure that we'll now, from today, distribute the face mask, which we produced, and then it's going to be distributed freely. So we decided to take that decision so that um, once the individuals come out, that is, uh, decide to return to their businesses during the daytime, we we'll have also sufficiently enlightened them to know how to behave. It's not like the beginning where many individuals were still in doubt as to whether COVID-19 exists or whether it can kill a black man or whether they can survive in Nigeria. Now, majority know that they can survive in Nigeria, and all that need, they need to do is to be a little more careful. All right. Uh, you, the ban on movement will also be partially lifted on Thursday. How confident are you that the state is in a good enough place um, to take that decision, knowing fully well that there is a likelihood that the people might be a bit more uh, endangered because sometimes people are not known to follow the rules? Well, first, before taking that decision, the state government produced a million face masks, even as we also um, pleaded with uh, well meaning individuals to also assist to fill in the gap. The directive is that anybody who wants to appear in the public must, as a matter of necessity, wear the face mask. Because scientifically, it has been proven that to a very large extent, it helps in reducing the, the spread because of... Um, the issue of uh, droplets either coming out from um, an infected person or having to uh, go to somebody who is not infected. And so for that purpose, if everybody will have to wear their face mask, we, have, we believe that to a very large extent we have been able to reduce the incidences of the spread. And then again, we have also continued to sensitize our people on the need to constantly wash their hands with the soap and then water, of course running water, but if it happens that they are not able to have access to water immediately, either because they are on the street or somewhere else, as much as possible, they should take advantage of uh, alcohol-based hand sanitizer. And that in the event that they have not been able to do any of this, they should not, for any reason, uh, take their hand to their face, either touching the eye, the nose, or possibly the mouth. But because we do know that that is one very, very difficult um, thing to do because the hand and the face have a very, very special relationship in the human body. And so we we'll continue to emphasize the need to keep the hand uh, clean all the time. Okay. We know it's not going to be very uh, much easy, but we will continue to sensitize them. We have also taken steps to ensure that certain other places where it might be very difficult to enforce um, are not uh, made to open. For instance, restaurants are not going to operate in such a way that the uh, continue, people continue to sit together. They are going to operate on the basis of takeaway. Schools are not going to open yet because you cannot easily direct or control how the children or pupils will behave. Churches by this Thursday will be holding meetings with the religious leaders as both the Islam and the Christian community to let them know the new uh, directive 
But after that, we will now be able to also come out with what we are going to do with the places of worship. But beyond that, the governor have also directed that a number of uh, clubs, lounges cannot at this moment operate. Therefore, vehicles and commercial uh, operators of either tricycle or buses who have also read out the rules. No three persons can sit in the case of a bus in a vehicle or, or a taxi. It have to be just two in a row. All right. Then for um, the tricycle, not more than, not more than two. At all the right. Back. Uh, Commissioner, let me let me ask you: um, the, Did the lockdown achieve the purpose of reducing the figures uh, that you get from, um, I mean, new infections that you have? And how optimistic that it are you that the, that the decline will uh, sustain? Well, we are convinced that the lockdown assisted us largely. If you take a look at our numbers, and then also knowing how itinerant their towns uh, could be. If people were allowed before now, when the sensitization and the knowledge about the virus is quite low, to be moving up and down, perhaps our numbers would have spiked. But uh, thank God we are still having seven, like I said earlier. And out of these seven, uh, one, one even before the, the two of them, before their result came out, passed on. And then we have two already treated and then uh, discharged. And then three active cases at the moment. We are quite optimistic that by the grace of God, these three that are also responding um, adequately will be discharged in the not too distant time. But having said that, we are now convinced that much, number, much more number of persons have now more knowledge, informed knowledge about this virus. We have also been able to ensure that the doubt in the minds of many that this particular virus, uh, like they say, they did not kill African man, that this particular virus cannot kill an African is not also true. So once you're able to deal with those biases, you've been able to now enhance the knowledge of the people, and then they also take the responsibility at their personal level. I told you the last time we spoke on your channel that we have invested more in the uh, uh, preventive approach because we do know that no matter how much you put in terms of um, equipping your centers, which we have also done, that this particular virus has overwhelmed uh, uh, developed clients. And if it has... So we cannot begin to beat our chest that we have done all that we needed to do with respect to setting up um, treatment and uh, isolation centers. We will continue to prevent, which is why we are also aligned with the federal government with respect to uh, people moving out at night from 8 to 6 a.m., 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Because at night, some people say, does it mean that the virus uh, goes to, uh, maybe uh, is awake in the daytime and goes to sleep at night? No. At night, you may not have the capacity to enforce certain behavior. For instance, the social distancing that may take place in markets. At night, who is going to be there to begin to uh, enforce it? Secondly, when people go to nightclubs, are you going to go into the nightclubs and ask them not to dance together? So those behaviors that you cannot enforce at night, or the number of persons that will be in a vehicle, or the possibility of uh, criminally minded persons to take advantage of the uh, uh, movement of people or the non-presence of security men to commit certain um, crimes. So it becomes easier for that decision to be taken so that you now uh, devolve most of your energies, particularly enforcement energies, in the daytime for the purpose of enforcing uh, uh, the right protocol and then the right behavior as it affects this particular uh, deadly uh, virus. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Commissioner, for your time with us on the news. We appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you, Felicity.